So, what's the situation right now? The situation is, I took the first castle, now on to the second one. Putting an end, Mr. Chagall, who has lived long enough, also drops silver blade, I think it's in English. Very nice weapon, but sadly enough no one is going to be using it, so it's just additional money for him. I need to plan, who do I give it to? I've been thinking about it. Maybe I should give it to Fury. She has 5000, she will get another village, which will be this one, that's additional 5000, she'll have 10k. She will buy the Brave Lance and sell the Brave Sword. She doesn't really need it. Actually, yeah, she doesn't really need it, does she? Medeer. Medeer, Medeer, Medeer. We need some money. Or maybe not. So at the start of the next chapter he gets 2000, I think. Iron Bow for the first three rounds, maybe? Yeah, he should be okay. Mm, interesting. Azel! I mean, Azel, you need money. You need a lot of money. But you'll be getting it from you. You need. You need 14k to buy the apartment band. You. 2000. You can get this village and the sword and this village. That's 11, that's 14, that's that's a right amount for us all to have. Okay, that's good. What about Arden? And then Arden. He will sell the Pursuit Band, so he will be able to buy the Pargon Band. Do I want him to buy the Pargon Band? Well, eventually I do. After Azel, maybe? So what level do I need to have Azel at? He's 8. He will be he will be 9 at least against these guys. Over VQ. 14 damage, that's 28 damage. If he doesn't miss, of course. That's 29 coming from Shagal. For this 20, he can take one hit. He will be level 10. Level 10 against the pirates. With Dancer, he should be able to kill 2. Will he be able to kill 2? Pardon stays here. Azel stays here. Yes. I need you. I need you to steal a lot of money. Beowulf is fine. Moish is actually fine, but I'd like not to sell things. He really benefits from them. He really does. 
but if I must, okay. Alec. Alec will get 5000 now, and he will be able to get more. Yeah, he'll be able to get much more. So he can sell the sea sword. Oh, he can get the deep sword. He will be fine. Okay. I also need 40k for kill kill. And I also will need to find out how long it takes to get to the wind sword with you. I do want the wind sword. Because the light brand will be going back to Ethan. I want my wind sword. turns to get there, so by turn 28, you must have enough money. Who else needs money? You need money. You need 14k. You have enough. Don't have enough. Could be fine. Azel is 14, which you will get. So you are rolling in cash. Then goes goodbye. Or she flies over. Yeah. And of course, me here. Yeah, you can get this. Yuri. Yeah, she will be buying. Ravens. And she will need money too. Buried. Okay, okay. So Levin, Azel, what do I do with you? I don't know. Levin, Azel, are done with me. For the brave sword. Okay, so the plan will be Fury finishes the arena, goes off, then Azel gets the lead ring, kills some stuff. Ardan will stay put for now. Azel, 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 then we will sell the Will Argon get it? Argon could get it. And just return him. Kill Q. Kill Q will need. A kill Q will need to have it last. She'll need to really do some RNG manipulation for Arena. I don't know, but anyway, first I have to take this castle. So,
let's start like so. Now, Alec, he should dodge this. I have checked. I'm sure. Because if he doesn't, it's gonna be bad news. Well, that's okay. It's fine. Alec can now come back. And we need to deal with... my name here. Yep, should be fine. Brother and sister meet up again. Talking some sense into Eruto Shang. Prompting him to talk sense into Chagall, which, as we know, is not going to happen. But at least we get some sword. I don't even know if it can be obtained later on. That guy's down to Shiguru Dome. Maybe. Now Erdogan goes for Chagall. Getting yelled at. Basically treated as a traitor. And this is the end of his life. Pretty tragic. Yep. Now then, Flex should be able to hit this one. I also checked this part. Should be fine. Yep. Nice level up. Yeah. Now, we'll push him off. Get some experience. The question is... The question is what should I ever do, what should Azal do? They, they can be close together for once. Bianca, no. These guys. You also need money. I have to really make good use of this bolt sword. I need it to be. Need it to be. Let's say under 10 usages, perhaps, eventually. You will go in. Beowulf, we actually need to heal. I'm gonna do just one round the arena. I sell this, of course. And he should be able to win the problem. At all. Fighting the next guy, I only wanted to heal him, and now we can get out. Q on. Do I want him to heal? 
I don't know. Maybe I don't. Here, I'm going up. E. Uh, I mean, Fury. Is over here. Then, I need you at the castle. You gotta sell your lands. Maybe you can stay there. Let's live. Now. Now, now, now. How do I take her to level 30? I can still return. For a bit. Oh, hello, hello, Samantha. Yeah, I'm just starting up again. This should be an easy part, relatively speaking. Because nothing much is... Oh no, I forgot. I forgot to put the throwing axe on him. Oh well. Should be fine. Hold in. Yeah, I also need Dancer to be over there, so it's about time I start moving them. Oh, alright, yeah, have some coffee. Oh yeah, Chagall is going down. The only question is who will do it, or who, who do I want to do it. Ethelon is mounted. Actually, I might want some kind of weapon on her. How much does she have? Twelve. One. Where are you? Yeah, forty-one. That's more than enough. Which means, yep. I'll repair. Repair the return staff, get some weapon, and things should be looking good. Okay, she's level 25. Actually, this is this is fine. I would like her to get to 30, but it is not that necessary. It shouldn't be. Silly. Yeah, if Silver gets to level 12, that should be more than enough. Who else I need to move? Qon. I need Qon. Qon can actually make it even after staying at the church, so... That is what will happen. Kaish... You stay, you stay where you are. Is that everyone except me in? That's everyone. Let's go. Shravant, my favorite character. And yeah, Shavel is talking his shit. Our mercenaries are more useful. But then the only mercenaries he's receiving are these level 8 Draconites. As if they can do anything. They can be a nuisance. This is doing some nice damage. Get that cheap damage in. Very nice. Oh, they came for Levin. Good, good, good. Levin will survive. He does not go down into hits. So I'm not worried. Those armors are not moving. No. Oh. They also came for 11. Very nice. And they're dead. Very nice level up. Here we have some people coming. Fury to take care of. Oh yeah, I 
fire by you. Still there, huh? That's extra 5k. You or Alec? You or Alec? Alec can actually level up, I think. Yeah, he's level 8. That's 5 level difference, that's 20 XP from killing him. Alec can level up, but would he be okay attacking this dude? Let's see. So Dew gets the money, Alec gets the experience, and Argon, Argon goes chill in the castle. I'll have these two just in case. Just in case. Okay, now then. Then. Oh, forgot to save. Oh well. Then. Hold in. Ah. First. There. That's 3.5 levels. And she can get sword. Three point five levels, that's twenty-eight point five. Well twenty-eight point six. Twice used the healing staff, that's 29, and used the healing staff five more times. Be good. Hold in. Hold in, hold in. I actually, actually do want you out there. Just in case. Or do I? Parking, you know, same place, okay. We go back. We go here. And I need you to dance. Ethelin can heal. And that's exactly what she's going to do. Yeah. 
well. Oh, let's go for it. Eleven is actually pretty much set. Actually, die if I attack with Akishisu. Maybe that's not the best idea. Let's just heal. Just in case. Eleven, I 
takes the kill. This is also needs healing. Who else? No one. That's fine. She can heal Ira. For no particular reason. And get that level up. Nice. Very nice. 26, 4 more, just 4 more. Okay, and 
naturally owns the reward, except for Fury. get a bit complicated. Do I want these guys coming at me? Or not yet? Also the question is... Can Fury actually... fight against heal them? I have 94 to hit. Here, only needs one. Here, she will need two. Only three. And the fourth to hit. That's 49 evasion, plus 10 from charisma, that's 49. Less than half. Less than half. You can still survive two hits. Will she even have charisma? No, she won't. Do I want to play it safe? And I have to deal with everyone coming at me. Also, these guys. Zell can do this thing. Yep, it's fine. It is fine. That should be level 10. I hope. Oh no. No, that's level 9. Oh well. I still have these guys, but I don't have my dancer. Which means I won't be able to do much. Olin is clearly not making any time. It also means that maybe I should forget about it. And dance only here. Or three. Let's play it safe. I can't play it safe. I can also have these guys. Back legs. Oh, that's five damage. That's seven damage. Ten. That's twenty-four. Thirty-four, forty-eight. Hmm. It's two HP short. On the other hand, do I want them coming? Yeah, let's take. Let's take one. will be somewhere here. Maybe even here. They will reach here. 
Yeah, I don't want the armors yet. I want my squad. Don't go Zen. Myra. I don't even know where to put Myra. Also, do you die? Okay. She deals 25 damage. Oh, she. Wait, she deals 25 damage. Nice. She will not kill them. She can take two hits. Yeah, 
Yes. Approaching Chagall, doesn't have much longer to live. Ponish, where do I want you? I'm here again. Oh yeah, a bit quiet. No, really, is it? That should be fixable. Let me see. How about this? How about this? Is it better now? Okay, cool, cool. We shall continue. It's also midnight, so I kinda tend to keep my voice lower. Much lower. Much quieter. Still quite new to this, uh, streaming and talking while playing. 
because I usually don't do it. I, I talk inside my head, but not out loud. I guess most people would be like that. Oh yeah, that too. Alec, let's go. Wait. Nah, 11 HP. One round of healing and then he should be able to clear the first round of arena because he hits three times. Yep. Now then, so far so good. Who else? Lex, the wolf. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Let's see. See how this plays out. Oh, you're coming this way. Okay. Nice. Good dodge. Not that relevant, of course, but still. Good dodge. Well, I didn't think it was annoying or too high-pitched. Just a regular voice. Oh, very nice level up. Yuri. She's actually gaining stats. Always good to see. Okay. Yeah, your voice when you hear it in your head and your voice when you hear it from recording is just completely different. Yeah, also Rip, Eldigan, Eldoshan. Well, he will pay. He will pay with his castle, with his country, with his money and his life. I think that's fair enough. Now, 20, 40 damage, but he will hit in return. But still, 40 damage. 40 damage is enough. 40 damage is enough. Yeah, Eldion was too good of a man. He was too good for this silly world. Yeah, that shows down for it. It, it was always divided. I th I say, what is this abysmal hit rate? What is going on? Lex, please, can you hit? It's turn 13, so I actually need you down there after you hit him. Can you do it? Hmm, I see. What about this? Yeah, Shadala in charge was the end of everything uh, outside of the range. Well, what about this then? 39. 22 damage. Even if he hits twice, he doesn't kill. Which is what I want. Nice. Now, Yeah, Agastya, the dominion of the free knights, or dominion of the free lords, is looking pretty heck well. For the time, it's conquered by Granvale, because Sigurd is part of Granvale Empire, or Kingdom. So they will have someone to rule over them. Do I want to take guys out completely. I don't think so. Yeah, they got Redain, Agastya and well Sigurd just single-handedly took two whole countries for himself. And Isaac is falling around this time, I recall. So yeah, all those rumors that Byron, father of Sigurd, actually murdered the prince they, they really don't look so good because Sigurd is gaining influence, a lot of influence, so it could be seen by other people as Byron clearing the way for his son. Because uh, if you start comparing like uh, 
the battle uh, proficiency of Granel Ar army in Isaac, which they struggled with, and then look at Sigurd, who took a small force and took over two whole countries, well, basically anyone can see that Sigurd is better. Yeah, they set him up for good. Sigurd was never gonna make it. Okay, now I have to think. I need to take them out. I can take out... I can take out this guy. Or should I take out... Yeah, I'll take him out. With Iron Bow. That's... 46 times 2. Yep. It's always good to see the Dragon Knights falling out of the sky. Though Travant would obviously disagree with me. Also, can I take him out? Yes, I can. Good. I need this guy. Nope. Yes. Oh, Lex has a skill ring? Well, his accuracy isn't that bad, unless he's fighting against a sword, actually. Well, Axis, look at it, 70 accuracy, right? Check this out, the bows, 70 accuracy. Iron bow, uh, steel bow, silver bow, 70 accuracy, same. Exactly the same as Axis. Axes are bad because they are heavy, basically. They are heavy means, you know, they don't get to pursue, they get pursued. And then of course, Sejamka has 14 skill, Lex has 11 skill, the difference is 3, and that is only 6% difference. Back. Only 6% difference in the hit rate for Jamka and Lex. But Jamka keeps his 98 hit rate against anyone. Lex gets penalty of 20% when he's going against the sword users. And also the sword users, because uh, their weapons are lighter, they have more evasion. Like Lex evasion is 11. Thanks to this axe being 18 weight. 18 weight, his speed is 18 exactly, he has zero evasion from this. Basically his evasion of 11 is just luck, 11 luck. So yeah, axes are bad, but not because uh, their accuracy is somehow worse. Yeah, <laughs> wise teacher. Same goes for uh, the fire magic. As you can see, Azel does not have his fire, simply because it's too heavy. Thunder is 7. Fire is 12. Fire is the same weight as a lance, like a steel lance has the same weight. So of course he's not going to be pursuing anyone who has a sword, or anyone who has a bow, actually. Fire tones just are very bad in this game. Wind tones are OP. L wind, weight of two. What is this? It's like you can't hit this man. His evasion is 43 just because he uses uh, wind magic. Yeah, I always uh, keep the speed ring on Midir because Midir has uh, what was the name? Cost, I think. Well, the charge skill. Basically, the faster you are, the better the chances of entering the second round or third round of combat. He's a bow user, he will not be fighting anyone from the range where he can get hit, he will not be fighting bow users, so... The more attack rounds, the better for him, and thus the speed ring looks better, in my opinion, on him, because everyone else... like. Noish, he has 11 speed, but he doesn't have Pursuit. If anything, he needs the skill ring, 
to uh, get higher chance of a critical hit and also get higher chances to hit. That's basically how I look at it. <laughs> okay, now where was I? Yes. Oh, oh, you will see just how awesome Noish can be in chapter 4 if you watch my uh, playthrough. He will be the man in chapter 4, that's like his place to shine, basically. How far can you go? Oh, yeah, you can go here. Cool, cool, cool. Fury, go there. So Azel takes him out, Fury takes him out, Jamka takes him out, and this guy. And this guy is a problem, huh? Lex, can you like hit him? Oh! Perfect. And these guys will start coming, but they will start coming from below. Oh, you do chapter 4 tonight? Nice. How far are you planning to go? One castle? Maybe two castles? Kiri. Wait. And defense. 16 damage. What? You plan to finish one chapter? That's that's a long stream. Yeah, th these chapters are really not meant to be played in one sitting, really. Oh wait, I should start here. Doesn't matter, yes. X. You can go. You can go. Now, the reason I took this guy out first is for the uh, Furious Canto. Uh, if I kill him here, then the pass will be open for her to go this way and I want her to go this way because she wants to get to this village, basically. That's like the only reason I started from afar. 96 to hit. It'll be fine. Yes. Very nice. And now, Fury obtains a very good item which allows her to regenerate HP just by standing somewhere. You don't reach there, do you? Oh. And now that the Fury has moved, Azel can come in, take the kill, what level are you in, anyway? Oh, level 8. Hmm. Do I, do I want Azel down here, actually? These guys have higher levels. Twenty defense. Twenty defense. 16 damage. 28 damage. Six, three, four. She will die, unfortunately. So this will be the place. Okay. Fifteen messages. Sure. Danka, you go for this. Azel, Azel, 
Actually, Dancer is almost here, so Azel should be able to get down there in time. Yep. Getting some XP. You want to dance, I know you do. Anyone needs healing, no one needs healing, but I will do it anyway. How far can you go? Okay, you can go there. Oh wait. Yeah. Heal Lex. And come back. Was, was this the place? Oh well. I'll just dance here. Almost, almost level up. Get closer to action. Get some leadership bonus. Not much. Also, maybe I, maybe I can stand here and use my bolt sword. Is that what I want to do? Would that be an option? Or should I be just here? I guess I can be here, doesn't matter. Heal some more. That's for the experience. Because she healed twice. So level up incoming. Again. And where's Finn? There you are. You should be able to heal in the arena by winning. I think. I hope. Sure hope nothing bad happens to him. Barely, but yeah. Yeah, the overheal of sorts is part of the plan usually, because it's just the XP and it's not like you need to really use up all the charges all the time. Pardon me. I will have you... no, I will not have you heal. Or actually I will. Oh, Beowulf. Good. Is that everyone? I think it is. Oh, Colin. Completely forgot about you. You are coming in. And this should be it. Let's go. Shravant. Goodbye, Shravant. See you later. Okay, good dodge. Unexpected. But really nice. Oh, going against Sigurd. Again, again a dodge. Yeah, having your sibling right next to you helps. And also Lachesis with the Charisma skill. Of course, always useful. 
and the leadership bonus is also applied to the leader himself. Okay, going for her. Very nice. Going for Kwan. If he hits twice, they're dead. Oops, they're dead. Ah oh well. Pakistan is surrounded. But no one cares. Okay, so should I kill Shagal on this turn? Or the next one? Can I kill Shagal? Yeah, and this will be 100% hit once Lachesis and Sigurd get there. It only deals 8, eight damage. 8 times 2, 16. Okay, maybe I should heal Fury first. And also, I want Azel. Can you dance? Yes, you can. Well, I'm thinking about Midir. Midir wants the money because Midir will probably end up having to repair the killer bow before it goes over to Jamka for his arena and then buying it back from Jamka. So he needs, he needs quite a lot of money. So Midir is the number one candidate for doing it. Okay, so Azel can take out these two. Azel, Fury. Also have Fury. I have three archers. Okay, this goes to Azel. I need to dance in a different spot. Let's say I have Azel here. Then... Then I can... Or can I? I would really like to see Janka go twice. Okay, Azel can be here. Then Janka can hit this guy. Yeah. Well, let's let's make a save. Let us make a save. This turn fifteen. Fury, how are you doing this lovely evening? Fourteen damage times twice. Yep. Dead. One, two, three, four. These guys are down four. Lucky sis can hit this one and have Ira eat it. Yamka can kill this guy as well. Levin, okay, Levin. Levin, Levin can kill this guy. And, go for this. See, I see. So you need to move. I need you to move. Need you to move and... Kill Fury. Not a bad level up, by any means. She has finally more strengths than magic. Finally, she was stuck at like 6 strengths and 9 magic. 3 more levels. That is, if I use up the return staff. Yeah, I don't, I don't need legacies to return all these people. 
the base. I can have Ethel do it. That's five turns. But anyway, any um, okay, we can dance here. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Azel, what are you doing to me? I can't reach down there. This is not what I need. Can you dance? Yes, you can dance where Sigurd stands. Which means... Azel takes this guy out and Levin can come in, stand here, take the guy out Zell will be here. Yeah, and Jamka takes this one out, Azel takes this one out. Let's go. Nice, he will be at level 10. I would like to deal some damage to this guy. But first... damage, 18 damage. With Astra, she kills. Okay. That is good to know. These guys are not damaged at all. This guy will be damaged. Okay. Oh yeah, I also have Meteor. And I also have Fury. Which means... That's 20 damage, 32. That's 14, that's 38. No, 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 that's 28, 32. Yep. Let's do it like this. at all, as expected. Now then, Levin. Mr. Levin. Did you kill this guy? You take take this guy. I would like to see one more, but it's only Ira. It's only Ira. One res. 25 attack. Now you need damage. You really do need damage. Let's start here. Wait. Oh no, oh no, my, my calculation was off. Now this should do it. Or maybe. Or maybe I don't mind if Fury will be damaged.
but then the Brave Sword will be almost used up. Brave Sword now costs almost half that 3000. Actually, yeah, sure. Let's go for it. That will be 17 usages left. Not too much. That's fine. Oh, she even dodged. Okay. That works. That surely... Oops. Yep, that works. Now... Yeah, Fury, Fury can really do a lot of things. Though so some people find her hard to use because she's a bit squishy. She doesn't have much HP, she doesn't have much defense. But she can use the brave weapons. The brave lance goes to her. The brave sword, as you see, can be really effective on her. Do I want experience for iron? Four, four guys get to move and I will have four targets. I think I do want this to be given to Ira. So she might... Thirty-four damage, twenty-one. Actually, actually, this is good. This is fine. Lex only needs to hit. You only need to hit. Yes. Perfect. And now you can die. And now you can dance. These guys should be done for. Blank level up, but of course it's gonna be blank. But of course. Actually, I might need some more damage. Oh, your type of unit? I like going on solo missions and whatnot. Oh, yeah, high speed and movement. Yeah, she does have that. For sure. Now this, yep. I got twenty five. And I will want her to be here. These two guys are dead. This guy is dead. Because Azel, that's why. Just enough, barely enough. Oh, Pegasus Knights, Archers, Mages, and Myrmidons. Well, I don't know, I mean, people call Genealogy Horse Emblem. Because, well, the food units are having a hard time keeping up with the mounted ones over the large maps, but... The way I look at it is, I don't understand where would one hurry off to. You know, why would people want to send in mounted units as fast as possible and leave everyone behind, like... It's not like there is a turn limitation of any sort. I've seen a person, a Japanese Shinner, recently use like 700 turns in the prologue. Just in prologue, over 700, maybe even 800. So, what's the rush? Why is everyone galloping ahead? Unless, of course, you're doing something like I am doing, which is uh, you're trying to do it in um, not so many turns, then yes, mounted units will be the ones doing the combat. But otherwise, if you're not, you know. Yeah, and village to save 
Actually, the villages that you actually need to rush to save, they have bonus items. And that's about it, really. It's not needed. You can, you can save zero villages and be totally fine. So, again, if you want the bonus, then sure. If you don't mind the bonus, then no need to hurry. Take your time. And also, if you have already played the game and know what will happen next, such as, well, we know that the pirates will be coming from here, then you can wait for Sigurd to seize the castle and move everyone to this part. It doesn't matter how many turns it takes, you can take like 100 turns to move everyone and it will be perfectly fine. You can have Ardan standing here and Ira being here and Jamka standing here, and no problem. So where was I? Okay, these guys are dying and... Juan, I need you to not hit twice, please. Or... <gasps> nah, she will be next to Zell. What does it matter? What does it matter? Nah, I think I can take this. Lex is too close, but and you are going down. Okay. Yeah. By the way, hello, Twink. Still lurking, I see. In the stream of a guy who keeps talking about other games while not even streaming them. Obviously. 11 11 and Fury, I don't want you I don't want you guys to be near each other I'll have you be here Yep Eleven, level 13 Very nice He needs to get to 14.25 before next chapter which is almost a guarantee because he has not done arena yet. Very good. No one needs money. Ira can take this skill. Boom. Yep. There we go. Okay, so this part is almost finished. Now I want to see on and do anything okay 70 to hit and 20 damage 24 he gets hit what if what if I go here 88 to hit more damage less damage received I guess I can start chipping away I do have healers I'm the king of Augustia. What insolence. Yeah, well, not for long. You're gonna be the late king of Augustia. Pretty soon. Yep, stay right there. And in. Finally, made it to the castle. You guys. Finally, Arden. I like you, you, you. Do I want to sell? Not yet. 16k, is it enough for Levin? That's the first question. Is it enough for you? Steam. Yes, it is. Alec. Alec can do it himself. Yeah, no one likes Chagall, really. Even his face is kind of punchable face, I'd say. Hell 
wolf. You. Do I need you to heal even? No, I don't. You. You are good friends with Arden, usually. Why don't you stay here? That should be everyone. Only Shalak Beowulf. Oh, wait. Jabka can promote. Hmm, cool. Did better than I expected. Nice. Nice, nice. And. Turn end. Now then, I'm gonna hit one. Okay, 35. Nice. Here. How much damage do you deal to this man if you use Killer Bow? You deal 8 damage. Twice. 16. If you hit, of course. Can you hit? Yes. What if you use this one? You deal 8 damage if you hit. It's not a guarantee. That is bad news. Okay. Fury, once you hear. Wait. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, but I can dance. Can I dance? Yes, I can. And that village is plus one defense, as I recall. Uh, why not? Actually, make a save. I always forget about saving. This is turn 16. Now, I don't remember if I told you before, Samantha, but if you take this castle before turn 19, then Finn will automatically get married to Bridget in 32 turns after she shows up. So once I take this castle, I will have the limit of 32 turns. To wrap this up, yeah. I did, I did kind of waste some time on the first castle because, you know, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to be taking this before turn 19, but then 32 turns to get some cash, to get some levels, mm, should be more than enough. And thus, Chagall must go down. Like in this turn. How should I do it? Mm, 48 to hit. Azel, you can't even reach, huh? In your level 10. Owen, Over. yes. Basically, actually, I can have. No, I can't. Sigurd must go last. So I'll need to hit him. Maybe if I do this. 19 damage, he will die. But maybe I miss. That's 19 damage. He will have 16 left. Doesn't make much difference, does it? 43. That's 24 damage. He will have 11. So, either way, I will need to do when 15, either way, I will need to hit him twice with the killer bow. Doesn't make much difference. In which case? Yeah, and if Quan goes twice, then it's, uh, it's a reset. So please don't. 
please do. Nope. Okay, I see. So the first hit will always be the shield. Will you die? Yes. Will you die? Obviously. Can I dance? Yes, I can. Twenty-six, oh my god. Thirty-eight? Will you die? No, you won't. And now... Ninety to hit. Let's see. Okay, there was two attacks. 90% hit rate missed. If I have a kisses, then then he will hit. Yep. This should do it. Seven. Yeah, fire magic is stronger against the wind magic. That is why he is. And now we should really go down. Yep. See ya. I Augustria. Well, not yours. Not anymore. Nice level up. Killer ball broke, but who cares? Hmm, Nigir. Yeah, now it's I Augustria. Nigir can promote. Always a good thing. Get the get the defense. Now then, I shall start returning people where they belong. I also need to start warping people where they belong. As in. Warp Devin to go. Warp Azel. But I should warp Azel. Then I can dance. Warp Levin. And then, the next turn, I'll be able to give the return step. Yeah. Also, a uh, plan for the next part is Lachesis will have the return step. She will be teleported here. And she will go straight to the rescue and just start returning these people. Fury, obviously, will be there, joining the fray. Thirteen, huh? I hoped for more, but... Sure, that's fine. Okay, Azel can go. Azel has nothing to do. You can go. Very unnecessary level up. Just almost at 30, yeah, 25. These things happen. 
Azel, 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 you can be here. I, I don't care where you Oh, yeah, actually, Azel needs to buy the ring, huh? Huh. They will be around here, so, yep, you'll have time. Then. I need Holin. Oh, how did I get them promoted so fast? Well, remember chapter 2? For the first 20 turns of chapter 2, Aideen did nothing, but she kept swinging the warp staff at the base castle. Basically, at the base castle I had Azel, Aideen and Dirje. And they just kept returning and warping Azel to the base castle. And the reason I left Azel at the base castle is because, well, he's a foot unit, he will not be able to catch up, he doesn't have Kanto, so in fact it's faster to warp him over to the first castle he sees, once he sees it. He'll get there before even Ira and Janka, if you teleport him, so he can get some kills on the armors. So basically by turn like 18, Aideen was promoted. Because I also used Warp Staff in Chapter 1. I returned Aideen to the castle with Ethlyn and then she just kept warping people all over the place. Yeah, that is why the money that you has at the beginning of Chapter 1, it goes here. Like, the moment you can do it, it goes here. She's the one who needs the money in Chapter 2. Because all she does is just swinging staff. And once she promotes, then she can buy the Fire Tomb that Azel basically sells, because Azel will be using Thunder. And the promoted Aideen in Chapter 1 Arena is basically a beast. She can start earning money on her own. She does not need anyone's help anymore. So she can buy whatever she needs, and she'll still have some leftovers. She got to like fifth level of the arena here, no problem. Because warp stuff is 60 XP per usage. And that's how I also got Dirje to level 30 in chapter 2. Once Aideen promotes, she sells the warp staff, Dirje buys the warp staff, Lachesis buys the return staff, and with the help of Dancer, they start warping Levin and Azel in the base castle. That, that's all they do. Because Levin also doesn't get to fight. He will talk to Fury and that will be it. Literally. He will take out the bandits, talk to Fury and that's it. And do arena. Nothing more. So that's how Aideen is promoted. Yep, she can use some magic, she can fight, she can use all the saves. Cool stuff. Now, Holland. You barely got here and now... You are going back. What you see here is basically what just kept happening every single turn in Chapter 1. With just different people. Now you can dance. Dance and... Levin. Do I need to heal him? Lachesis will be there. Ethlyn. Ethlyn. Yeah, Ethlyn will be there. She'll be able to heal. Okay, no problem. No problem. See you later. So yeah, again, about this, you know, huge map and how it takes too long for the food units to traverse. Well, you get the warp staff in chapter 1, so why not use it? Already. And who else do I want to return? I want to return Janka. I want you to go back. Lex will need to go back. Lex and Quan, also Midir, and go back. Which will make... Well, actually, I can just warp Lachesis, and then she can buy the Return Staff at Madino. I don't have to give her Return Staff just yet. 
because I'll need to take out the first wave of the pirates and then she'll be able to gallop. So yeah, no problem. Yeah, it is very helpful. And that is also a big challenge in the, you know, the second generation because you will not be able to use warp staff because, well, Aideen will not have children and you will not be able to pass it down and it comes up in the store very late. So it will be taking more time, much more time in the second half of the story because you just don't have return staff, you don't have warp staff, you have nothing. Speaking of which, do I wanna... No, Kwan can go next. Yeah, Jamka, you, you are going back where you belong. Which is, of course, the base castle. And Eslin can just... I don't know, she can chill. Next to Kwan. She will need money. She will need to buy the Pursuit Ring and the Light Brand before the end of chapter. Also, only... And only a couple more turns and she'll be fine. Yep, you're doing fine, you're doing fine. Lex, you're not doing anything. Seize. We shall see. Turn 17. 32, 49, yep. Sounds good. Eldigan. You is dead. Yeah, I wonder what happened to the missile thing. Where did that blade go? It's a relic, it's a powerful weapon. Surely it should be somewhere around. Or like Lachesis would want to keep it, you know? Hmm. Strange. And now we have Shannon bringing the news. Yeah, Shannon, what a cute kid. Irja is gone. No, oh, Irja, but what's Ellis? What about my son? I have him, but Dirge. I see. Shannon, it's not your fault. Don't think too much about it. I shall find Dirge. But if only I... could keep her from moving out of the castle. Yeah, like, how are we gonna do that? He's just a kid. And Dirge is a grown woman. Mary, with kids. Like, no way Shannon could suffer. But then again, Shannon was not really keen on stopping her. He was like, man, I don't want to be babysitting, come on. So, mistakes were made. Now, final check. Do I need to move anyone? I'm gonna hear Finn. Well, I can promote Finn. Yeah, Dirge, Dirge has that adventurous side to her. She was out of the forest in the town, she met Sigurd, then she came out to help him. She joined the actively fighting army of all places. She was actually fighting herself, well, not on my playthrough, but usually she does go out in the field and heals and fights. So, can't really... Yeah, like mother, like daughter. The holy blood builders. In. Shall we promote this man? You can become a Duke Knight and look exactly like Quan. Would you like to? Yes. In the man. How would you guide? And some nice stats. He is a strong boy. Strength 20, but Duke Knight caps at 25, I think. So, you know, he still has 10 more levels to go. He might just cap out. Skill 22, very nice. Speed 18, luck 18. Defense 15 is not particularly his strong side, but it's okay. One of the top. Also, yeah, yeah, he'll be fine in the castle. And that is 
it should be it, right? Junker finished arena, of course, but of course he did. Oh, we finished arena, yep. This is it, and the turn, and... Here we go. This is the hard part. The pirates will be bringing me their cash and their experience. I made these. Keep hold. Yeah. Talking shit about Bridget, who is way stronger than all of them. Of course she can't really fight them on her own, but she doesn't need to. Giving the orders to raise some havoc. Yeah, Bridget was in the leading position for a reason and people actually liked her. Like the villagers, they were shocked that the Ogre Hill bandits are now actually taking stuff from them, which wasn't the case when Bridget was in charge. Well, she kind of lost her memory, you know, if you remember it. Maybe she hit her head or something. And then she was just raised as a pirate. Who is unable to use axes. Yeah. But is really good with the bow. And no one wondered why. But of course, it's not like they would have priests who could do some, I don't know, some kind of blood testing. I mean, they gotta have something to figure out who has the holy blood and whatnot. So, maybe that's why I never got into access. Yes, the free experience and free gold is coming. And these guys shall be fed to. Kill Cube, the Thunder Mage, who is just OP every way. Odd. If we dawdle around this place any longer, the pirates will find us and kill us. Let's make a move. Yeah, sure, Kill Cube, I'm coming. Now I know everything through my prayers as I thought, and I also was able to locate the lost relic, the Staff of Valkyrie. Here, take a look at this. Yeah. What is that filthy staff? Filthy. Don't say that. You can bring back the dead people, like Beowulf, who is not dead yet, but he might, might die. Oh, we cannot revive your grandmother. Oh yeah, red-headed mage. The silver-headed thunder mage. Of course. Yes, their magic somehow affects the color of the hair. I mean, it makes weird sense in this setting, where we have the holy blood and real magic, so... Maybe there is something to it. Now then, let's make a save. I wanna check some things. Yep, yep, bad. How much do you have? Do you have 5,000? Oh yeah, green hair we made, yeah. 5,000. Do... Oh, you have a lot, huh? Oh, you, my man. Hmm. What should I do with you? That is the question. I could draw him out here. What's a hit rate? 92. Against sword, that's 72. On the village, that's 52. What's your evasion? 21, but of course. 30% chance that 
this guy will actually do damage. You, 38 evasion. That's plus 20, that's 58, that's 78. 78 evasion. 14 to hit by him. And 0 by these guys. Which means you can actually stand right here. 31 HP. 39 to hit. 39 to hit, huh? 35 damage. If you, if you get children, he will survive one hit from this Isar guy. Yeah. Hmm. I'll need to think about it. Will I want you to be here? Because no one except this guy will target him, and you can just. You know, keep, keep attacking them while keeping this guy busy. Or do I want you actually behind Arden as per usual? Because usually, actually this is new for me, I'm, I'm doing something new. Arden would be right here in my usual playthrough. And you will be right behind him. Arden will hold this bridge forever. Yeah. But, because Arden also needs to buy, you know, like Pargon Band and uh, Brave Sword and all that, which Fury has, before this guy move, it's... It, it takes some weird time to send Fury over here and sell stuff and Arden buy stuff and then he walks here. And also, he doesn't have just enough strength to kill them in one round. So they will clog up this place and it will take forever to actually clear them up so that Pissar can go back and bring some more mates. I'm not sure if you realized, but these pirates are infinite. They will keep coming forever until you take out Pissar. And that's what I mean by the treasure trove and free XP. These weaklings will appear again and again and again, as long as this guy is alive. And this guy will go back to castle once he has less than 3 subordinates left, or once he gets to like half HP. Yeah, this is one of those infinite reinforcements points. There were actually infinite reinforcements in chapter 1 and in chapter 2 as well. As long as you don't take out the commander, the reinforcements just keep pouring out forever. So yeah, this is a place where a lot of people use up a lot of turns, because basically everyone can get promoted. Every pirate has 5000 gold, we have you... Was it Heirheim? No, well, mm, no, it wasn't Hierham, it was Zayn, the guy who carried the Night Killer. He keeps going back to castle and bringing out that. Oh, Hierham also does it, huh? I see, I mean, he just dies. He's just in the way, and the things he brings are not useful. So I just take him out, yeah. Okay, Pissar, yep. Yeah, sometimes those reinforcements can really hit you out of the blue. Azel, how will you be able to take out two one turn? Going back and forth, okay. Eleven. You just need cash, don't you? That is all you need. Oh. Yeah, I find. Okay, well, I'll, I'll think about it in more detail. Fury, yeah, I can dance. Cool. I can dance. 
So this is it for now. Again, two hours just to take one castle. This is uh, becoming a habit, almost. So yeah, uh, there you go. This is one way to do this part. This is um, not really recommended for people who just want to enjoy the story. It's uh, what people do when going for ranks. So yeah, this is this is it for today. Thanks everyone and uh, Samantha lurking and whoever else was watching and uh, I'll see you guys later some other time yep see ya bye